Welcome to our first installment of Broadcom CPO tutorial series brought to you by the Optical Systems Division. Copackage Optics CPO is the heterogeneous integration of silicon optics and electronics on a single package substrate that addresses bandwidth and power challenges for applications such as Ethernet switching, AIML, and HPC. CPO solutions can be implemented with integrated lasers bonded directly to the photonic IC PIC or with remote external lasers that can be plugged into the front panel. We are going to explore these options in more detail today and their impact to CPO solutions. A remote laser module, RLM, provides an external light source into optical engines that are co-packaged with other silicon chips. Broadcom's RLM is an uncooled double-high QSFPDD module with an integrated heatsink. Each RLM produces 3.2 terabits of bandwidth with eight lasers at a minimum of 100 milliwatts of output optical power at a 50C case temperature. The Blimate connector provides laser eye safety when installing and removing the RLM. By using an external laser, Broadcom's RLM allows us to keep the optical engine pitch matched to the core silicon, simplifying signal routing and reducing substrate area, thus improving signal integrity. Broadcom's RLM can also be validated prior to packaging, greatly increasing both laser and pick yield. The high level of integration and lower temperature provides an increased level of laser efficiency and tolerance to aging effects. The use of Broadcom's uncooled RLM with Broadcom's direct drive CPO architecture reduces the thermal load in the hottest spot of the ecosystem, driving down the overall power consumption and enabling a continuation of 1RU system designs. The RLM is field replaceable, providing the ability for the operator to easily service any system in the same fashion that pluggable modules are serviced today. Broadcom's RLM is not locked into a specific CPO design and provides the operator with a way to support future ecosystems as cloud architectures continue to evolve. Though there are some benefits for an integrated laser solution, such as reducing the number of optical connections and loss, enabling wafer scale processing and test, and not requiring a blind mate connector, they continue to require redundancy of lower yield, lower performance, and higher power consumption. Integrated lasers inherently require larger pick silicon, as they need additional components and must address thermal considerations in which the laser needs to be as isolated as possible from the EIC pick and core switch ASIC. This increase in optical engine size then requires a larger substrate to accommodate placement and routing, sometimes beyond current technology capabilities. The increase in substrate size then leads to more complex and challenging signal routing, which can lead to higher power consumption and thermal loading. Additional lasers and redundant lanes are also required as a system with integrated laser sources is not field serviceable. Furthermore, with integrated lasers, it becomes difficult to scale and address higher bandwidth requirements and CPO architectures. Broadcom's Dual High QSFPDD is the industry's first uncooled RLM capable of delivering 20 dBm of output optical laser power at a 50C case temperature. Best in class thermal performance is provided by having a field replaceable RLM placed away from the switch and co-package optics. Thanks for staying connected through the RLM tutorial. Next time, we're going to cover FAUs, so check back in. In the meantime, to learn more about CPO and RLM, visit us on the web. Broadcom, connecting everything.